Hi everybody. So today I'm going to share with you another Bible review and today we'll be looking at one of the Bibles from the McLaren series. This one will be the New King James large print reference Bible in black leather soft. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in then stay tuned. Okay, so before we get started, I would like to ask you, if you're a fan of Bible-related content and Bible reviews, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure that you click that little bell so that you'll be notified when I upload a new video. So we're going to be looking at the New King James Large Print Reference Bible, and this one is from the McLaren series. Now what they've done is they've basically taken the Preaching Bible and rebranded it with additional maps so this one did not have maps this one does plus the binding on this one is really nice so even though this one is the calfskin leather I actually like this leather soft one even more so it comes in a nice clamshell box I really like the packaging on these so I will hold that right there so you can pause and read that top section and then we'll drop down to the features so we'll have over 72,000 cross-references, a verse-by-verse -verse layout, line match text that's in that two color, so we've got that really pretty shade of blue, and then a 10.5 font. You can also look up Alexander McLaren if you'd like to learn a little bit more about him. Here's our ISBN number. Retail is $49.99, which means you can find it for less online, and as always, there will be links in the description box if you prefer a King James. I'll also have links down below for that one as well. This Bible measures out at nine and three quarters inches tall by six and three quarters inches wide and it's an inch and a half thick. So we've got really nicely done gold gilding. Surprisingly I haven't scuffed mine up much yet but really nice. This one is the leather soft but it has a really nice grain pattern on there and it actually looks and feels like leather. It is perimeter stitched all the way around that perimeter. In fact, when I first handed this one to my husband, he thought that it was leather. The spine on this one is beautiful. We've got Holy Bible, NKJV, and Thomas Nelson. And then we do have those raised hubs. But that is just really beautifully done. On the back, we've got the ISBN number stamped on there. If you have not watched my visual tour of this Bible, I would definitely recommend watching that video as well. So this one, we're going to have a paper paste down liner. We do have a presentation page. And we've got our title pages, and I really love the shade of blue that they utilize in this one. It's just really, really pretty. So we can see that it is the first printing of 2021. It is printed in China. We'll have all of our contents. We've got the book abbreviations and the special abbreviations. Then we've got our preface to the New King James. Then we get right into the Old Testament. But just the little details with the little design are just really pretty. We'll get right in. To the Old Testament we can see that we've got a double column layout it is verse by verse and then we've got all of our cross references down along the bottom so this one does have a 10.5 font and it is line matched so we'll get you a close-up on the font you can also see that the verse numbers are going to be in that same nice shade of blue and then we've got all of our cross references down along the bottom we've also got translator notes down along the bottom as well and also a glossary. So we're going to take a quick look at the cross references and the glossary. So we're going to get you zoomed in. So we're going to look at verse 6. So we've got right here, then God said, let there be a firmament. We can see a little a. Then we can also see the number 1. So the letters are going to be for the cross references and the numbers are going to mean that there's going to be a word meaning down below. So we're going to drop down and look at that. Okay, so on this side, it's a little bit spaced out. So we've got the chapter 1, verse 6. We can see the little A. So we've got our cross references there. But then on this other side where we see the little 1, it tells us that the word firmament means expanse. So you're going to have all your cross references as well as some different word meanings down along the bottom. So it is really nice having all of that down below. 
because a lot of time I just want to read the text and not chase cross references but I really like knowing that they're down here so that when I do want to do that now one thing that's going to be different from this one versus the preaching Bible so the preaching Bible in the New King James had three ribbons where this one's only got two but these in this one are also just a single-sided satin these are double-sided satin and although this one is the genuine leather I do think the binding on this one is actually superior to this genuine leather one. In fact, this one has become my nightly reading Bible. I switch off between this one and the King James Version. So we're going to take a look at our ribbons. So the first one is going to be black, but double-sided satin, and then it is cut nicely. And then we can see right here that we're in Proverbs, but just a really beautiful print quality in this one. It is so easy on the eyes to read from. I would definitely recommend one of these if you are looking for a new King James and something with a nice readable font. So we've got the second of our two ribbons in this gold color. So we've got the black and the gold. So it is nice to have two. And then in the New Testament, we're just going to have black letter. So for those of you who don't like red letter, this would be a great one. Personally, I like both. I like black letter and I really like red letter as well. But I do really love the shade of blue that they utilized in this one. I mean, it just looks so nice. And all of the little references down there are going to be in blue. Just a really nicely done Bible. So we're going to get into the very back. We'll get to the end of Revelation. And we can see that we're going to have some pages for notes. So if you do want to take some notes or jot down some prayers or do a travel log or anything, you've got plenty of space back here to do that. And then we've got a note regarding the type. And myself, I'm kind of becoming a comfort print onlyist. I love the comfort print text. So this is done by 2K Denmark, and I absolutely love it. It's So we've got not only that comfort print, which is so easy on the eyes, but it's a nice bold print as well. And we'll get back to our maps. We're going to have seven maps spread out on eight pages. We can see that it is on a glossy paper, which that doesn't bother me any. And then we can see some of the stitching down in the gutter, so nice sewn binding. So if you take care of this Bible, it should last you a lifetime. There's our two-page spread. I really love that they separate them. There's nothing worse than having a map and having it go right down into the gutter and any of the little towns along that edge fall right in there. So I do like that they separate those. And then we just get right back to the back of the Bible. But just a really beautiful addition. I mean, you can look at the grain on that and it looks like real leather. It feels like real leather. So I'll give you just a quick shot of the King James. So if you want a KJV in a more premium binding, you can get this in the goat skin. I do believe that they have the New King James in the goat skin as well. I'll have to check. But there's the look of this one. This one does have three ribbons. It also has art gilding. But really nicely done. I would definitely recommend the McLaren series. And again, they're basically just the preaching Bibles rebranded into a McLaren series. So again, there's the box. Here's our ISBN number, and I will put links in the description box. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.